my, 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 what do we have here? We have a Moon Man M8 straight from China. And uh, let's get right to it because I'm sure you'd rather see a pen than a box. So this is normal Moon Man uh, packaging that's, uh, you know, they've been using for a lot of their pens lately. It's got all the necessary branding here. Key thing here is M8. Um, and this should just slide right out. And again, more Moon Man logoing, nice box. And there is our pen. Beautiful. This is a, a multicolored sparkle pattern. Um, they call this one the green sparkle, but it's, I mean, there's, there's a lot, there is a, a bit of green in it, but there's lots of other colors as well. But in any case, this is just a um, really, really, really pretty pen. The material here is just really nice. Look at that. That is just some um, beautiful, beautiful material. Just gorgeous. Great pen. We don't need the tag. We can get rid of that. Um, and then just like take in the beauty of this, uh, this pen. So this has got some really, really nice, um, nice material. Um, uh, not much in the way of decoration. There's no cat band. There's no external branding that says Moon Man anywhere on the pen. The top and bottom uh, of the pen are just come to smooth ends. It does have a pretty nice clip. It is springy, but not spring loaded, but it's a nice sort of functional clip. It's, um, it's got a little bit of weight to it. It weighs 29 grams. There's a decent amount of metal inside the pen. Um, it is a twist to uncap and takes one and three quarter turns to open. Um, I think it's a little short to use unposted personally. Oh, let me just screw that back in. I think it's uh, personally, I think it's a little short to use unposted. I really do like to post my pens. It does back weight a little bit, just, but just a little. Um, not enough to, to stop me from using it posted, but it posts, it posts fine. Um, uh, in terms of overall size, let's get a comparison going here. So here it is compared to a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan. You can see it's pretty much spot on lengthwise with these pens, a bit girthier. To compare it to other Moon Man pens, we can certainly uh, do that. So here it is compared to an M300. Um, as you can see, it's very, very much, pretty much exactly the same size, slightly different proportions. The M300 doesn't really have much of a taper um, uh, to it. And here it is uh, compared to an M6. It's pretty much the exact same shape uh, as the M6. It's basically, for all intents and purposes, the same pen, which is completely different materials. This M6 is obviously made of wood. This nice etching in the wood that says Moon Man, I actually wouldn't mind seeing something like that on this pen. I think that would have classed it up a bit. Um, but because I just think they did such a nice job with that etching. But um, uh, in any case, nice, uh, nice pen. That's what it looks like compared to some other Moon Man uh, pens. Um, in terms of the other parts of the pen, we're basically dealing with a smooth plastic section with not much of any kind of a lip or anything here, but it is very comfortable to hold. These threads here are very smooth metal and very unobtrusive. You are dealing with a metal on plastic situation when you um, cap the pen. Um, um, and it does have a liner in the cap. Might not be too easy to see on the camera, but trust me, it is in there. Um, in terms of a nib, you're basically dealing with a Moon Man number six nib. This is a monotone gold tone nib. It has the Moon Man logo, it says Moon Man has an F for fine. Has that little mountain effect, very much uh, reminiscent of Monte Verde. Um, and it has a crescent shaped breather hole, which is also very, very uh, nice. Um, number six nib, like I said. Um, so it is definitely swappable and it has a uh, uninspiring uh, plastic uh, feed. Um, in terms of filling mechanism, the pen is cartridge converter. It does come with the converter. Um, however, as you can see, there's metal bits all over the place here. Matter of fact, the interior of the pen is just chock full of metal. Metal here, metal there, etc. So we will not be 
you, neither I nor anybody else will likely be eyedroppering this pen anytime soon, but that's uh, not much of a big deal at all. Um, and again, the real thing about this pen is just the material is just absolutely stunning. Just stunning. All these uh, embedded flecks of acrylic that just look absolutely gorgeous. So that's really um, what you're what you're buying when you're buying this uh, this pen. As far as a writing experience goes, I would imagine like any other Moonman pen with a number six Moonman nib is going to have a very similar writing experience. But for this particular pen, what you're really um, what you're really capturing here is the material. Um, but pens were meant to write, as they say, and in order to write, it does need ink. So let's ink this pen up. Okay, as far as ink goes, I'm going to ink this with Twisby Prairie Green. This was part of this uh, very nice uh, uh, set from a Twisby that I got a while back. It actually has two different greens, and it has an emerald green, which I uh, used in the Platinum Prefont. If you want to check out the review of that, you can see that. It's got a blue, a pink, and an orange, and a royal blue. Um, so uh, I'm slowly, slowly working through all these colors on different videos, but today we're going to get to the Twisby uh, Prairie prairie green so let's get um, right to that maybe give the little bottle a little shake why not um, we'll open this up and um, you know I'm not sure the section of this panel fit yeah I think it will so it's an awfully narrow little bottle but we'll see what happens I'm uh, I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat uh, optimistic that it'll fit I think it will so let's just uh, yeah uh, Let's just draw some ink in there. We'll do that the requisite three times. Or maybe even four. Quite frankly, I'm not counting. Um, and then we'll expel a few drops, which is normal good practice from my perspective. We will wipe that off and put our pen back together and there we go um, that is our pen all inked up which like we said is the prerequisite for writing and speaking of writing let's get right to it right now okay folks what we're writing with here today is a moon man model M8 um, and um, this has a fine steel number six nib um, and I'm gonna say that this nib writes okay there's I would say a tiny bit more feedback than I would care to see uh, on uh, on a nib on a pen this nice. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, we'll do a little uh, nib smoothing on this uh, on this nib. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to get out my uh, my uh, emery board and we'll uh, show you how to do a little bit of nib smoothing. Okay, these emery boards have three sections typically: a pink one, which is the roughest. A white one, which is um, uh, slightly, which is smoother, and the gray, which is the smoothest still. So I normally don't even start with the pink one. I normally go straight to the white one. Sometimes I go straight to the gray one. In fact, and what you want to do is do a figure eight pattern like this. So we're going to do a figure eight pattern on the emery board, and we're going to try to rotate our nib. As you can see, I'm kind of rotating the nib around as I do that. And this should smooth our nib a bit, because like I said, there's definitely some uh, more feedback than I'd like to see on this nib. Not terrible, and it would definitely be usable in uh, most cases, but you know, I, I would definitely prefer this nib to be smoother. Um, and then uh, we could try it on the paper. Yeah, that's definitely better already. And then we're gonna what we'll do is we'll flip that over and we'll do the finish it off 
with the smoothest side. Uh, and again, depending upon what the nib is like and what we got going on with the pen, we very often can simply uh, go straight to this gray smoothest uh, smoothest section. You can buy these emery boards uh, in a lot of different places. Any place that sells sort of fountain pen accessories and fountain pen repair supplies in particular definitely sells them. They're pretty common, pretty common item around. Oh yeah, that's much, much better. Much, much better. So you see this only took about a minute or two or three, but it's definitely worth the time. Not a lot of effort involved in doing this, but um, I think the results are well, well worth it. You definitely want to do this, by the way, with an inked pen. The ink provides, it's too sort of dry and rough. You need the ink to sort of serve as a lubricant as you're doing this. Um, very, very nice. Okay, much, much better. Okay. So let's get back to where we were. Um, so, like, like we said, this is a, let's zoom in a bit. So what we're writing with here is a Moon Man M8 with a fine steel nib. And um, this has been smoothed. And it writes now quite, quite well, I would say. So this is now a went from an okay nib to a, went from okay to good, I would say. Speaking of okay and good, I would really appreciate it if all you folks could like, share, comment, and subscribe. It's very much appreciated if you can do these things. Um, so that is this nib. Um, by the way, this is a stiff nib, so you really don't get, there's really not any kind of flex or variation to be had at all. Um, but um, yeah. Uh, and in terms of uh, wetness, I would say it's, um, it's probably about average, maybe slightly above average in terms of wetness. Um, let's try reverse writing. Not really. I mean, it's gonna. It's just really dry and scratchy. I won't. I won't do any kind of reverse writing with this. Um, so that is our um, Moonman M8 um, pen. Really, really nice pen. Like I said, um, the material is just, just gorgeous. The nib was out of the box, was definitely dis, a, dis, a bit of a disappointment, but as you can see, to remediate that was a very, very trivial uh, exercise. So don't let that scare you off at all. Frankly, if you're a fountain pen enthusiast to any degree, you should definitely have uh, have one of these lying around and learn how to uh, learn how to use it. It's really a good thing to, uh, to, uh, to have. Um, so, in any case, that's this pen. Now let's talk about this ink now, shall we? Okay, this ink is uh, an ink that I've used today for the first time, but I'm really, really liking it. And this is uh, Twisby Prairie Green. And um, this just really has a lot of character. I really like this ink. It's a bit on the light side, um, but, um, but I really, really 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 like this um really this might be my favorite one of that of the, so far at least of that set from twisby so like i said this is the twisby prairie green um they had like i said there's two greens in that set there's the two there's the prairie green and the uh the emerald green but um this is a pretty nice set you got six bottles i think it costs 36 bucks they come in these really nice they're 18 milliliters so they're decently small bottles but they're really nice bottles with these frosted glass with really nice cap I mean they're just really nice nicely done job on the inks uh, that was Twisby's first in, uh, inks that they sold which was just uh, just a little while ago but uh, this is just a really nice ink I'm liking this a lot uh, this is a keeper so 
really nice uh really nice uh collar this is gonna this is definitely gonna be in my normal uh rotation i just did a video a while ago with like a whole about 13 different green inks this i had not used this this one uh yet so it wasn't even in that video but next time we do a, a green ink video or anything like that this one will definitely be definitely make the cut really really nice ink so this is what it looks like on this um rhodia paper let's take a quick look at what it looks like on tomoe river paper okay so as we said this is twisby prairie green And um, this is on Tomoe River paper. And again, very, very nice. You definitely pick up some shading on this Tomoe River paper. Great looking ink. I'm really, this, this one surprised me a bit. I did not think this ink was gonna be this nice. This is, this is just a beautiful ink. Um, um, super happy with this one. Uh, let me see if I can buy a bigger bottle. I have a strange feeling I'm going to use this a lot. Um, in any case, I think that'll just about do it for this video. I certainly hoped you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed making it. Pretty pen, pretty ink this week. All pretty nice. And as always, until we see each other again, have a great day. Bye-bye.